Colin Davidson, Scotland winger. This is my house that I stay at with my mum and my dad and my wee dog Rollo. So we knew the cameras were coming today long, so we've dug out some of your old photographs from all your sports at school. Aye, I can see that with some of the pictures that you've got out. Rugby, Hi. running, skiing. Aye, when my mum used to drag me along to five k's. Santa Dash. Tried not to make them too embarrassing. Pony ride. Aye, well. <laughs> <laughs> How can you know with us? When she was little, I used to take her to dancing classes, but she, that wasn't for long. So when she was four or five, she started playing football with the boys out in the street. You know, she would she'd go to school in boys shorts and a polo shirt hanging out. I, I never got a brush near her hair until she was about nine. So she did a lot of athletics and football and you did swimming as well, didn't you? You did swimming for a while. And we used to go on skiing holidays. So from a very young age, she's always been really athletic. I think she's just a natural sports person. She's a good golfer, she's a good skier. Um, She's just one of these people that, you know, thrives on, on sport. If you give her a table tennis bat, um, I'll beat you. She, she's, <laughs> she's no bad. <laughs> yeah, I think I struggled at school because I was different and I wanted to play football with all the boys and the boys didn't think that that was normal back then. And obviously I played for Roswell at the boys, um, but yeah, I didn't really enjoy school. I got bullied a wee bit because I played football, but and it's quite easy just to go, oh, I'm not wanting to play football anymore, just to put their mind at ease and not get bullied anymore. But I stuck with it and I'm probably one of the only ones that still plays football that goes to my school. Yeah, I'm just so glad that I stuck by it. Same with my mum and dad, like grateful that they let me stick by it because it's not easy as a parent coming home and your daughter's not enjoying school because of the sport that she's choosing to play. Um, but I'm delighted that I stuck by it because I'm now doing it day to day and I'm loving it. The bullying was hard to, to watch, you know, when your child come home, comes home unhappy, it's, it's really hard, but they have to go to school. So she, the first opportunity that she had really, she, she left and went and did a college course. And then the year after that, she was successful in getting selected for the National Performance Academy in Edinburgh. So, and went back into education there. So it's a route for everybody. Doesn't that always have to be school? We're now heading to Bishop Briggs where it all began and where I spent most of my childhood um, where I grew up and went to school. Yeah, well this is my old house here and um, I had a friend in that house there that we used to play football with and one at the end of the street. Yeah, I was here from two years old, I think I was moved away when I was 16, 17. Yeah, this is where it all started for me, um, playing out in the street with my pals, we used to put another jump out there and then jump out the other side of that one and the ball used to go in the, the road when the cars were coming and the ball used to go over the fence into that woman's house so yeah this is where it all started for me. Obviously like Glasgow City they're like second family and that's where all my friends are in the football industry and I think with girls going through what I would be going through when I was younger just to stick by it and people looking up to me that just stick by if you love the game that much then you will come out the other side and nobody can decide what you want to do with your career. But I first started I was Pauline Hamill was my coach um, under 17s and then she moved to under 19s and she took me with her um, when I was a lot younger and um, so yeah I'm really grateful for that and yeah, actually I had a part-time job um, not too long ago, working with Tesco doing the delivery driving and Pedro phoned me, obviously it was an unknown number because I'd never had a call up before and Pedro was only new as well, so yeah, and he phoned me and obviously I was lost for words, I did not expect the call up when I got it. Um, so yeah, as soon as I finished the phone call I phoned my mum and I asked her if she was sitting down because I knew she'd be so proud of me and she'd be more ecstatic than me I think. Even just being in the dressing room it's surreal like and obviously walking out and having my family in the crowd and walking out in front of that crowd and then singing the national anthem yeah I don't think there's a feeling that I'll ever beat that. Yeah. 